Hi everyone, I'm back. Now, aren't you lucky to win one day? <laughs> no, what I'm going to do now is, uh, who was it? Somebody asked me to show them how to do this, what I call the wedding bow. Um, because you can actually, if you've got long hair, you can actually make this into a clip and pop this in the back of your hair on your wedding, uh, you know, your wedding day. Um, you can use it any time. Whatever you want to do with it, put it on a project. I'm just going to alter this actually because this was a little bit um, different. It was sticking out too much for me. I'll need it nearer that. That's a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, I've made the, uh, the tassel. We've got some beaded string, so I'm going to get everything ready. Now I'm using this, and this is, look at your centimetres, 32 centimetres long, and I'm using the 10 centimetres wide, so it's 32, sorry, 32 by 10. And then what you do is, make sure everything's switched on, yes, needle and thread, well, just enough to do this I think now what I do is I join them together and I just overlap them about a quarter of an inch and just start and sew that a couple of tacking stitches just to start that off um, and you can go like that which I might do as well as my Try and get it in the centre. It's about right. Um, and then just large tacking stitches or running stitch, should I say, up the centre. And then what I do is I tend to do the same going back the other way. And you just run it through like that and it goes straight through the middle. And then what I can do then is just do that again from the front these are so easy to make really really easy oh my um thread's done a thing in me but well never mind we'll leave you like that it doesn't matter okay i'll snip that Gonna set my needle again because I need that. Running out of this was a full reel. But see, I'm always sewing, I'm always doing something. When my hands don't hurt. And right now I'm doing really well with my hands. Right, so we've got that. Now, what I'm going to do now is to set these on which uh, I need to get from my little pot and I'm using six of those now I did have this in the shop and I'm getting it back in but I don't have them in at the moment but you can put anything whatever it is you want don't worry about it I trim that off don't waste that it'll come in handy somewhere as a trim so we're just gonna Sort these out, move that out of the way because we've got that ready. Now I just have to make sure that I've shaped this here, took those bits off that join the two together. You don't need to worry about the rest of it because you don't see it. But you can use leaves, anything, if you've got any satin leaves or something like that in place of something like this last two there we go 
Now, the doilies are due in this week, ladies and gents. Um, I think we've only got two packs of doilies left on the shop, as in the bundles. And you get about 24 per bundle of mixed um, sizes. Right, I also need to get another piece for this. Now, I use the same ribbon. I don't, I mean, unless you've got one a little bit, about half that size. I, I do, but I tend to use the same ribbon. Then I know the colour matches and everything. So, I just cut a piece like that. Slice it up the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, fold in half. Like that. Oh, do you know what? I'm no good at doing it that way. I have to do it from the edge up. Cut the V out. Like that. Take the... A flamethrower, lighter, whatever you want to call them, we call them flamethrowers. Do you know what? I'm just going to shorten that. They don't have to be the same, but um, I didn't like where, the way I'd cut into that. Just set your flame to it. That's one done. Just going to trim a little bit off that because of the other one. just burnishing the ends then what you do is you fold that fold this over like into three like that like an S shape that's all I can describe it as an S shape dot of glue in there and a dot of glue in there and then you do it the opposite way for this one so your S shape was like that now you're going to do a back to front S shape that makes sense if not turn it round do it the right doing a proper S shape and then turn it back it'll be back to front I know what I'm talking about <laughs> then what we're going to do is to glue these two together and I've just dripped a little bit of glue on there but that's come off straight away make sure these are the right way around And we do that and then what we do is turn that back to front and a bit of glue underneath and then flip that over like that it's so easy I mean you might think of a different way to do it but that's up to you I'm just saying it's easy to do it this way now before I go any further we're going to do the tassel and I have this is just a tassel maker and I got it on eBay. So just put in tassel maker. And I'm going to use pink this time with my cream. And I'm just using a soft wool and I'm going to use the larger one. So what you do is wrap that round as many times as you want. Oh, mine's going on the floor. So I'm just wrapping it round quite a bit. I like a nice tassel. Okay, snip that. And then we need... Sorry about that, I dropped it on the floor, didn't I? Then we need um, some of this. And what you do is you thread your string underneath like that you fold that in half now I'm doing it without a string to hang it from because I don't need it and then what you do is you cut that side like that take the long bit that I was uh, tied it with and this is how I do them Right, and I 
hook it round like that and then drop that through and then pull that slightly okay and it makes that little knot at the end and I do that a couple of times like that and then I take the other one that's the longest bit and I just tie a knot um, and that way unless I'm hanging them from something I don't need the hanger on the end and then all I do then is to make sure they're all roughly the same size I, they don't have to be even at all a bit of cardboard's just the same right so now what I'm going to do is to glue this in place so I just do the flat end at the back okay and it sits in that little nook just there just sits like that now I'm going to do the flower now what I did have was these there were doilies and it had an edge on them with this one I used the Nottingham lace which we do have in the shop but with this one I'm going to use that up otherwise they just sit and I've got a couple of them here I may only use one I may use two. Oh, first of all before I do that let's go back to putting this on right I'm just going to um, pop these on that I've cut so I'm going to have one there one there that side like that just move this out of the way so hopefully you're seeing what I'm doing sorry if not again one like that one like that one there and one there just leave them like that leave that to dry now like I say we're going to do the um, flower so I've got my needle and thread I did knot it a couple of tacking stitches I just don't like wasting these kind of doilies and um, they're very hard because they're oval I'll just show you a uh, full one um, because they're oval like that you know it's really hard to know what to do with them apart from put them as a cover on a book of something well you know you can cut each individual bit up like I do and um, because on them you get like these butterflies as well so you can take the frill out use that and then you've got this so they're quite easy they it's just utilize what you've got now I think I'm going to use both pieces am I no actually I don't need to I think there's plenty in there to make my flower Just again bring these two bits together like that yeah that's fine happy with that now what I need to do is to add that I'll just put that trim away to um, my bow and I'm going to put the seam section to the bottom Oops, oops a daisy. Oh, that's wrong. Get that out quick, 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 quick. There we go. Let me just play with this. Sorry, I've got to make sure that I get it all as I need it. Like that. 
that's the best thing about these sort of things you can just play around with them and get them how you want them I think that will do mine I'm quite happy with that actually I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there and poke that in that's it now I do have um, some of this uh, pearly trim I need three sections of that I mean you can put more on if you want I'm just choosing to do three now I just lift this up and what I generally do with these I will add one to the side one in the middle one to the side and that's usually sufficient for what I need there you go bring that up like that that's fine you can trim these off then wherever you need them but don't waste the bits you trim off because they always come in handy for other you know gaps to fill in or whatnot right so I've got some more of this which is the beaded stamen I'm going to put two on I think yeah let's have two on now I'm going to put one there and one just there I think um, and what I've got is a pink and cream flower which I'm just going to attach there because I, I you know you just trying to mix the pink and cream together now um, I'm also going to put some of this on because I absolutely I just love this stuff and I use it an awful lot Uh, the beaded spray it really does set your project off nicely uh, so I'm just going to pop that in there like that uh, I'm going to take a pink um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god stick pin mm. I know but you know, um, let's have a look. I'm just trying to find the right one. Now I have this, which I think I need to do that with. So I'm going to see if I can thread that through rather than glue it on because I don't want it to come off. That's it. Thread that through and then that can sit just behind the flower. Do I like that? No, do I? <laughs> well, that's the whole point of it, is the doing your own thing. Let me just see. Don't have any beads. Where's my beads? And all my bits and pieces. Let's have a look. I need, oh, I've got a flower. No, don't want another flower, do we? Oh, I've got a, a beautiful, beautiful bead. Let's see if I can get another one. Thing is, I need pearl. So I've got that. Oops, sorry. I've got that bead, which is multicoloured and looks gorgeous. Oh, and I've got that. Now, where did I put my stick pin? See, I can lose things so easily. Where did I put my stick pin? Back in my tub, you nana. Ugh, come off. So I've got that pearl flower head, like that. Right. And my bead. Like that. And what I'm going to do is glue them together. twist so it evens out the glue and that's made a nice flower oh 
come on, I've got glue stuck to me. Right, and then that can go in that space there, which is where it was lacking something. Just there. That's better. I much like, I much like, I like that much better. That's what I was going to say. Um, now, let me just see. Because, do you remember when I broke this in the last video? I love that. I didn't want to waste it. There's no point in wasting it. Um, and I'm just going to add that to that. And it fits perfectly in that spot. I love that. So there you go, two very different um, fancy uh, bows, <sighs> like that. So I hope you can see them. They are really, really pretty. Um, the thing is, you can do all different bows, like I make these. Just something like um, a vintage look, shabby look elegant look for it you can put these on and this you just do the bow exactly the same as I've done the big one and then you can wrap your beaded string around it um, add lace and adorn it with a little ornament um, exactly the same and just put a flower there are so many different flowers uh, ribbons and uh, bows to do styles or whatever you want to uh, call them that um, you just need to get on and do it and use anything and everything you can I hope you like that thanks for watching take care very easy project um, and I'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now